Hi, it's Corrine, and I'm here today with a Craftin' and Stampin' Design Team Smashbook page. I'm working from the Wildwood book, and this is from Close to My Heart. I'll put all the links in the description box below. So I'm just deciding on what page that I want to use. And this word here, Inspire, is using the Heidi Swap Sugar Sheet Collection. And now what I'm doing here is paper clipping two pieces of paper together. So I'm go going to use two of the pages and cut both of them out at the same time. So I'm using paper clips to hold them together so they cut evenly. Now I'm using my ruler to measure out one and a half inches because that's how tall my letters are. And it doesn't matter to me where I'm cutting on the page. I just know that I want to leave that camera intact. So I just went above that camera measured out one and a half inches and now I'm drawing my line straight across so I have a guide to follow when I use my craft knife. So I'm using a cutting mat below that and I will pull out my Tim Holtz ruler. It has a metal edge on it so I'll use that to cut. And again I'm cutting through both of those papers and it's pretty thick cardstock so it takes a few times to go through. And now I will use my scissors to cut it from the binding. And just even it up there. And then I will erase any pencil lines that are still showing. So now I cut this word out in my Cameo, but if you do not have a Cameo or a Cricut that you can do this with, you could actually do this with any letters that you have, even if they're stickers. You just want to cut out a small strip to adhere them to, and that part you're going to hide below the papers like I'm doing here. I'm gluing that down, trying to keep it even so only the wording is showing, not the borders that I put on it. Those borders were strictly so it adhered to the pages. So I'm just lining that up, making sure that, again, my border that I added on to the top and bottom do not show. And then I'm gluing down the rest of the page, just lining up the first page with the second page. That way I know it's even. Now here I'm deciding if I'm going to make this into a pocket or not, but I decided I did not want the bulk of that, of any photos or any any ephemera in there. So I just went ahead and glued it down. I love trying to think out of the box with my Smashbook and make it unique so it's fun to look through. So I love how that turned out. And now this photo I cut, um, I printed out myself. I cut it at three and three quarters in diameter. So I'm just cutting off the photo paper around it and I have a white border that was four inches in diameter. And of course I'm adding a bow and all the papers that you see, the, the lettering that I use and the bow here is all the Sugar Chic collection from Heidi Swap along with this. So here I just wanted two thin pieces of paper to go across the top and bottom of that word Inspire. So I didn't measure that out, I just took two thin pieces that matched and I will use my Scotch Quick Dry to adhere those on. And that just defines the word a little bit better. Brings a little more color to the page. And that photo is just of a, a recent project that I did that is special to me. I'm using my ATG to adhere my photo onto the mat and then I will use that to adhere that onto the page. And here are some letters that I cut out. It says create and I welded two of them at a time so that way I could 
form it around my circle. The tweezers that I'm using are Tweezer B tweezers. They are reverse tweezers. So when you squeeze them, they open. That way, um, they, they work great for holding on to small things while gluing them down. I just went ahead and chose an enamel dot. That's a homemade enamel dot. I'll put a link to the video where I show how I did those in the description box below if you're interested. And now I'm just using my smash pen to go around the letters to create just to make them stand out a little bit more. Here are some flowers from Craft Supplies 1. I wanted to add a, a few flowers onto the page and they're they do not give a lot of um, bulk to the page. Also, I cut out an ampersand just out of white paper. So I'm just gluing that down. And I felt like the top of the page needed a little bit more of that blue color in it as well so I added two more flowers up there and that is all I will have the links to Jessica Wilson which is Crafton and Stampin she has a close to my heart website with lots of great stuff on it so I'll have the links in the description box below if you have any questions leave me a comment thanks so much for watching